Hey everyone, I'm Karen Roberts. Today we're going to talk about APA formatting in text citations. So let's get started. And as usual, we need to start at the APA style website. You will find everything you need to know on this page. APA format is that format that the School of Business and Society has chosen. It's a little more scientific and uh, fits the needs of our professors. You may have learned MLA in the past, I did, but this is just a little more precise. We Remember we talked about being clear and direct and this is a precise style. So let's get started. What are in-text citations anyway? And why do we need them? Well, they're source indicators. They're indicators that this is another person's thinking, another person's research, another person's data or information, tables, figures, whatever. And so we need to cite, give them credit for that information. And it also directs the reader to, okay, this is the research that has been done. And now, oh, I, I can identify the writer's thinking as well because that is not cited. And so uh, we must cite ideas, theories, and research. Anything that is not yours and not common knowledge. So you have an idea or information, it's not yours, and it's not common knowledge, and it's not cited, you know what that is? That's plagiarism. And we, we don't want to do plagiarism. Plagiarism is like stealing an idea or information. And so we'll have a whole section on plagiarism a little bit later, but we want to avoid plagiarism at all costs. So what are we to cite? You don't need to cite any knowledge that is common knowledge. Now what's common knowledge? Common knowledge is information that you can find unsighted in at least five credible sources. Credible sources, not, not Wikipedia. Yes, it's helpful, but anyone, anyone can edit. A Wikipedia article. So it's not something that you want to, to depend upon. So here's an example of common knowledge. Analysis takes time. Duh. Yes, it does. That's common knowledge. Okay. And it can be backed up by credible sources because they have studied about timing and analysis. So what do we cite? We cite paraphrases of sources. We, we uh, cite quotations of other people. We cite facts, figures, primary sources, secondary sources, and personal communications. When in doubt, cite. Okay, so this might be a little overwhelming to you. Not to fear. APA has chosen the author date citation system. And all of this information about how to cite is right here at the APA style website. So start with the basic principles. Then we'll talk about parenthetical versus narrative in text citations. You have appropriate level of citation. Oh yes, and the dreaded plagiarism. And then how you cite with paraphrasing quotations, quotations from research participants, personal communication, secondary sources, and classroom or intranet sources. So we have an abundance of information on how to cite within your text. So let's get started. Here is, oh, here is what a source would look like in a references page. 
the references page is at the last of your, of your analysis. So you would have the author's name, uh, last name, last name right here, Alexander, and the references list is in alphabetical order according to the last name of the first author. So you have the last name of the first author and a comma, and then just the initials of the first and second name followed by periods. And then you have in, within parentheses, the date of the publication and parentheses closed and then a period. And then the article, the name of the article, title of the article. And notice that the first word of the first uh, of the title is in initial cap, but the rest of the words are in lower case, except when you get to a colon. Not all titles have colons, but if they do have colons, then the next following word is capitalized, initial caps. And then the following words are lowercase. Now, if you have a proper name within the title, then the proper name is also initially capped. And then after the title, you have a period, and then the title of the publication, the journal here, that is in italics followed by a comma, and then the volume number is in italics and followed by a comma. Then the page range is 147 to 162 followed by a, a period. And then you have the digital object identifier, the DOI. Not all references will have this, but it's helpful if, if you have it. And if you have it, you need to include it. And notice there's no period after that, after the DOI. Then you have a parenthetical citation. And we'll show a parenthetical citation in a little bit later, but that can be in the middle of a sentence or at the end. If it is at the end of the sentence, then there would be a period right here after the, after the closed parentheses. And then you have a narrative citation and we'll show that as well. So a narrative citation is you have um, the author and followed by parentheses, the publication date and parentheses closed. So the author 2018 cited something. Okay. All right. So here's an example of what we just said. Brandenburger, comma, A, period, 2019, parentheses closed, period. Okay. So this title does not have a colon. So strategy needs creativity. Strategy is the only one that starts with a capital letter. Then Harvard Business Review is the publication. It's in um, italics followed by a comma. And then 97, the volume number is, is um, italicized followed by a comma, and then a page range, 58, 65. All right, so this is the way it would look at the end of a sen sentence um, with a period after, after that, um, if it were a parenthetical citation. Notice, Brandenburger, the last name, comma, 2019, comma, and then a page number, and then a period. Here's how it would look in a narrative. Brandenburger 2019 in parentheses asserts that many smart business moves come from linking products or services that seem independent from or even in tension with one another. Quotation closed, parentheses, P, period, 60, parentheses closed, period. Notice the period does not come within the quotation mark, even if there is a period there, if that ends your sentence in your quotation. 
Now, if this were multiple uh, pages, you would have a small PP period, 60-61, parentheses close, period. Okay, so paraphrases. All right, so this is what it would look like in a paraphrase. Notice the author has paraphrased two sources, two sources here, okay? And connected their thoughts. Notice there are two authors in the first source. Guided imagery and progressive muscle relaxation are both cognitive behavioral techniques. Parentheses, Guillaume and Lesix, comma, 2005, and a parentheses, closed, in which individuals focus on the relationship among thoughts, emotions, and behaviors. Parentheses, white, comma, 2000, parentheses, closed, period. Very interesting. This person has connected two sources, making them have a conversation with each other in real time. Now all that is needed is for the author to add their perspective. Amazing, good job. Okay, now multiple sources. When you have two sources, that and you're paraphrasing their ideas. This is how you um, cite in a parenthetical citation. Its efficacy is in part attributable to variables unique to the group experience of therapy as compared with individual psychotherapy. So you have the first um, or the author's last name, comma, 1996, okay then a semicolon to separate the two sources. And then you have the authors or the source of your second citation. All right, quotations. Notice that the author has paraphrased those, that, okay? Now, this is a narrative. Quote, uh, citation. So Brandon Berger, 2019, asserts that many smart business moves come from linking products or services that seem independent from or even in tension with one another. Parentheses close and then parentheses as a lowercase p, period 60. Parentheses close, period. Okay. So that's how you do a, a narrative uh, quotation. On the APA style website, you have a wonderful table, but I've reproduced it here. And it tells you what a parenthetical citation looks like and what a narrative citation looks like with one author, two authors, three or more at all. Now notice this. Martin, no comma, ET, no period, but a space, AL, a period, comma, 2020. And then a group author with abbreviation, and then group author without an abbreviation right here. And then secondary sources. Secondary sources, we, we really prefer that you not use secondary sources. If, there, if you have a source that you really like and that source cites another source, then you go to that source's original document and you, you use that source, okay, as primary source. But in case, the publication is out of print and you can't get it digitally, then this is the way you use a secondary source. So after examining progressive muscle relaxation, 
as an intervention for stress or anxiety, Joseph Wolpe, parentheses 1960, semicolon, as cited in Peterson et al, period, comma, 2011, parentheses closed, theorized that relaxation was a promising treatment. So we separate, we separate. The uh, Joseph Wolpe was in 1960, parentheses, as cited in Peterson et al, 2011. Use that only if you cannot find the original source. And that's APA in text citations. You have a great day.